All right, so here's ortho two. The block looks like this. We're sitting on a grid that is a one inch by one inch by one inch grid. Um, it's an isometric grid. So we're actually gonna count out the grid marks. One, two, three. We know that the width of this object is three grid marks wide. Each grid is equal to one inch. So the width of this is three inches wide. One, two, three. The height of this is three inches tall. And the length, one, two, three, four. The length of this is four inches long. So we're gonna be creating the front view, the top view, and the side view. The front view is looking at it in this direction. The side view is looking at it in this direction. The top view is looking straight down on top of it. So I'm gonna pull up AutoCAD and we are gonna create um, this object in AutoCAD. Let me start in AutoCAD here. I'm gonna start with a line command on the front view. We said that the length of the front view is four inches. So I'm gonna go four inches long. We said that the height was three inches, so three inches tall, four inches long, three inches tall. So there I've boxed in my front view. Um, there is a bottom, a bottom stripe here that's one inch tall. So I'm gonna offset one, enter, and I'm gonna offset this bottom up one inch. I'm also gonna create a stripe over on the left side. There was an angled piece that was also one inch. And then there was a notch here that was one inch. So I'm gonna take this side over one inch and I'm gonna take this side over one inch. Basically what I did was I created a big grid mark inside my, my view. And I'm gonna take this down one. So I've just created a big grid mark. Um, now what I'm gonna do is trim and I'll show you what's left. What's left is our actual view. So I'm gonna trim, I'm gonna get rid of the bottom pieces here. Get rid of this inside here. And I'm gonna get rid of these pieces here. Take out the top. And that is what our front view looks like. Assignment, and we can see that I've got the bottom stripe here, here, it's one inch tall. I've got this U-shaped piece here, and then the angled stripe is right here. So now we're gonna create the top view directly above the front view. It is four inches long. It'll match the length of the front view, but it's only three inches wide. So let's draw the uh, the top view here. So from line command from this corner, I'm going to come up, click, and I'm going to go four inches by three inches by four inches by three inches. And I'm going to do that same offset thing where I go offset one inch. Take this top piece down and the side piece over. Bring this one over and this one over. So I did that same grid type thing. This time I trim and get rid of these pieces in here. This section here. That's all there is for my top view. Let me pull the assignment back over. And you can see that on the top, I've got one, two, three, one, two, three surfaces. I've got this angled piece here, which is this. And I've got this big rectangle here, which is this. So now let's create the right side view that's gonna look like the letter L with an angled piece across, across the corner. So let's create the right side view. First of all, we're gonna draw the 45 degree projection line. So I'm gonna come here, click. I'm just gonna draw up at a 45 degree line. I know it's a 45 degree line because in my polar tracking, I've turned on 45 degrees. And so it gives me that green polar tracking. So now I'm just gonna project my lines. I'm coming from here over and down. 
from here, I'm coming over down. And from here, I'm coming over and down. From the front view, I'm coming straight across here to here. Here, I'm coming over here to here. And from the top, I'm coming over here to here. And now I just have to uh, have to trim some lines up. Top lines, these top lines, these two lines. And I have to connect this corner to this corner. There is a hidden line that goes right through here, this section right here for this notch that's cut out. So you want to go up to your properties. I got to go up to um, in the properties toolbar where it says by layer. And I'm going to turn on a hidden line. So I don't have a hidden line here. So I'm just going to go other. This box pops up. I'm going to go load. This box pops up. I find the hidden lines. So I scroll down. These are all in alphabetical order. Here's hidden. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to draw a line from here straight across. I'm going to highlight that line and I'm going to turn it into a hidden line. Now mine didn't show up as hidden because my uh, line type scale is not set properly, so I'm going to set my line type scale. You probably don't have to do that, and you can see that there is my there's my hidden line. That is what ortho two front, top, and right side view are going to look like. <laughs>